All right, to you friends, Mark of TechFinance here, and I'm with Mr. Adrian Lim. We already know him. He's the IT director of Novo7 Tech. Novo7 Tech, of course, is the official and exclusive distributor of THL, Zopo, and now it's finally official. You are now the official distributor of Meizu smartphones in the Philippines. All right. Actually, sir, we've already done a video for Meizu before, but it was for Meizu MX3. And now this is uh, a new video with Sir Adrian. Yes. This is going to be for the uh, Meizu MX4 and as promised by Novo7 Tech, it will be coming to the Philippines soon. <laughs> just how soon, sir? When will ang Meizu MX4? Just how soon, so approximately it will be on the first or second week of November. Wow, so a love it na. Uh, this is uh, for me, uh, sir. This is very special because I've already seen the full technical specifications, the features, the press photos. But now, kanina pinakita sa akin ni Sir Adrian, when I saw it in the flesh, it's really something. So now, uh, Sir Adrian is going to show us the phone itself. We'll be giving a quick unboxing as well as we'll be comparing it with the flagship releases by um, Nasus competitors, not just in China, but also the world over. Yes. Take it away, sir. All right, thank you again, Mark, for having me. So again, another special treat. This I have here, ladies and gentlemen, is the Meizu MX4. As you can see here now, I have here the gray version. Uh, I have the 16 gig version, which will be also be available in 32 and 64 with NFC soon. Mm -hmm. So, uh, first I would like to give detail or emphasis to the build quality. Because it's first time for me to handle a phone that has a perfect marriage of the software via Flyme 4.0, mm -hmm. uh, which powers the, the Meizu MX4, and the perfect craftsmanship. Uh, this is somewhat, uh, I want to call the Apple of all Android devices, <laughs> in, in some sense. Because first, the bezels, are ultra thin at 2.6 mm. Yes. You see? And with the tapered sides, it's really, really uh, uh, showing a really nice build, and the CNC craftsmanship is to a different level. Yes. And uh, the type of material used for this one is an aircraft grade aluminum body. So, what that means is the alloy is lighter, harder, stronger, and it's even stronger than the chassis of the iPhone 5. So, and uh, the 79% uh, screen to body ratio is uh, somewhat pushing it to the limits. Yes, sir. It's almost the limit of all smartphones. Actually, sir, I'm looking at it now. Yes. Parang kasing laki lang siya halos ng MX3, you know, or uh, also the Mi 3 of Xiaomi. Yes. Pero yung so, screen niya is already far bigger. Exactly. So, I have here the MX3. Mm -hmm. This is a 5.1 inch. This is a 5.36 inch. And if we're going to compare it, as far as the body is concerned, konti lang ang difference, okay? Mm -hmm. Very few difference, okay? But now, we want to compare this to a 5.5 inch screen, which what, uh, what I have here is a Oppo Find 7A. So this is 5.5 inch, and just look at the astounding difference, okay? So what does this mean is, with a bigger screen, it doesn't mean that you'll have to endure a, the weight. A bigger phone, a bigger yeah. phone, and it doesn't feel like a big phone. Mm -hmm. It feels just like an ordinary five-inch phone. Mm -hmm. And with the round sides and the perfect uh, grinding, it's very smooth and yeah. soft. It feels like jade. Yeah. As compared to this one, uh, you can feel the really textured plastic quality material. Although <laughs> this one, actually, when I first saw it, yeah. I thought it's metal. Talaga. One piece metal. Oh yeah, one. You need metal unibody. Oh. Yeah, the ex excellent craftsmanship from uh, from the alloy that uh, it uses, no? Actually, kanina, sir, kino-compare ko siya with the Mi 3. Halos yung size niya, halos same, ano? Yes, exactly. So, this is the Xiaomi Mi 3. Mm -hmm. The ever since uh, long rival of Meizu in China. Yes. So, the as you can see... rival, eh, no? Mm -hmm. So, Meizu kasi, it's not in the Philippines yet, but mm -hmm. come November... Me too will feel its presence. All right, and then actually, it's not just about the size and the design. Of course, we've already seen the phone, but Kanina, although it's the size is largely the same as some of the competitors out there, the power talaga is something else. Yes, yes, sir. And when, when we're talking about power, let's first look at uh, because everybody knows that the Me Too. Uh, MX4 is powered by the very first time in the whole world 
<laughs> not just in the Philippines, not the just in Southeast Asia. Not, the whole world. The whole world. The first 6595 processor in a smartphone. And what is a 6595? It's a chipset made by Meditech, a mm-hmm. Taiwanese chip maker, that first time features a true octa-core solution. Mm-hmm. And LTE capability. All right, so I've been reading about it, sir. No, uh, this uh, six five nine five chipset mm-hmm. has four uh, Cortex A seven cores plus four Cortex A seventeen cores. Know, Mark, okay. And the A seventies are uh, clock up, up to two point two gigahertz. And the thing is, before when MediaTek designed this chip, it was designed to be a big little type of architecture. Mm-hmm. But what MediaTek did this time is they introduced the Core Pilot, which is an HMP procedure, where it enables to activate not just four cores at a time, alternating, but one, two, three, or all eight cores at the same time. Now that's power with demand and and power efficiency. For longer battery life. Wow! And then the that's just a CPU, diba right, sir? That's just a CPU. How about the GPU? The GPU is a staggering Power VR SGX Rogue Hand, which is similar to that of the Series Six, which is similar to that of the iPhone Six. Wow! The same series, the same series. Wow! So this, uh, it's a good sir. One can safely say that the gaming performance is largely the same as on the iPhone Six. Well, it won't fare uh, that far from the iPhone Six, but mm. and we're talking about the GPU. But like I mentioned earlier, this is a true octopore solution, and later I'll show you why it is so special. Okay. Okay. So, like I mentioned, this is a MediaTek processor, six five nine five. Let's go back to its uh, earlier releases of the MediaTek. This is a THLT five thousand, features yes, a MediaTek six five nine two. This one is clocked at two point zero gigahertz, and it ranked thirty one thousand on two two. Not bad. So now let's go to MI3 the by, Qualcomm's. by the Qualcomm's by uh, Xiaomi, mm-hmm. rank at 38,000, not bad, it's great. So I have here my Samsung Note 3, also Snapdragon 800, 800 yeah. 41,257, somehow the TouchWiz UI is better than the uh, MIUI. And of course, the uh, Oppo Find 7A, which is using the latest Snapdragon 801, which is clock at a higher uh, core speed. And it's obviously the results 44,794 as compared to 41,000 of the 800. This one, sir, the 801 is the same as uh, the Samsung Galaxy S5. Chip. S5, yes. Mm-hmm. And I believe also the HTC M8. Yes, sir. Uh, HTC One. Mm-hmm. So, come to think of it, this, these Snapdragon devices are pretty much in the above 20,000 peso price category. Yeah. So, if you're wondering, what the Mate 2 MX4 is all about, then guys, let me show you. I may direct your attention to the screen. It's so high that it is a few folds higher and outperforms even the HTC One M8T. Grabe. At 51,406. That's the, the power of MediaTek MT6595. Yeah, so. Look at and I bet it will be higher, Pastor, if we're going to run this on the 32 gigabyte version, you know? Uh, probably, because again, not only the hardware we're talking about, it's because the flying 4.0 on top mm-hmm. of the Android uh, KitKat 4.4, mm-hmm. uh, it's, it's the perfect fidelity of software and hardware. Wow. So that's why they were able to achieve a wow monster of a device. It's Just so like powerful even on Tutu. Uh, <laughs> yes, it's wow, a monster. monster yeah. Yeah. So that's me. How do you pronounce it? Is it Meizu? Meizu? How do you pronounce um, it? Well, actually in China it's Meizu. But uh, it's hard for the Filipinos to pronounce, pronounce it. So let's make it simplified international version. Let's just call it Meizu. Meizu. As okay. of what the other foreigners uh, pronounce it. Me says I pronounce it Meizu. Yes. Meizu. Yes. Pero... There's a uh, different... Uh, but all of them, of course. That's just, <laughs> that's just Meizu. Meizu. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, with the Flymo OS. Yeah. Later, sir, well, you're, you're also going to show us yes, the latest absolutely. version of the Flymo yes, OS. Yes, because uh, I have here, uh, going back, this is the MX3. Mm-hmm. This uses uh, the Exynos uh, OctaCore, big little technology. Now, both of them run Flyme. Pero this yes. one, sir, is the older version older of the Flyme. This is the oldest, the MX, okay. and this is the Flying 3.0. Now, this is the Flying 4.0. Okay, okay. Yeah. 
Okay. Sige, sir. Ano bang unahin natin? The Flyme OS? Or are you going Sige. to do uh, well, another let's, let's demo for to, me? Let's go to the Flyme OS. Okay, Flyme so OS. So, we're going to compare these two screens right now. Mm-hmm. So, by the way, the screen, the technology is from JDI and Sharp, uh-huh. which measures a 5.36 inches and a resolution of 1920, not 1080, but 1920 by 1152. Making it wider. Wider. And as you can see, the direct comparison, it's wider and it's even longer. This offers a screen ratio of 1100 is to 1, contrast ratio. Oh, okay. That means the whiters, the whites are whiter okay. and the darks are darker. Oh. Mm. Ito, sir, parang this one is just... A- Ah, blown, yeah. blown well, they still, uh, the aspect ratio is 15 the by 9. Ratio, yes. Aspect ni- ratio is 15 by 9. Mm-hmm. And uh, what excites me even more is uh, when I tap to the brightness, okay, as you can see, the very obvious result, a 500 nits resolution, I'm yes. uh, sorry, luminescence, yeah. and it is one, by far one of the highest yes. in the industry. So and not to mention 85% uh, color gamut based on NTSC. Yeah. So as you can see, if you're if the mm-hmm. if the background is white, sobrang bright nya. Very bright. And uh, this might not be uh, a brightness level you would use indoors, but mm-hmm. this is particularly useful if you're using the phone outdoors. Under Definitely. Direct sunlight. Yes, under direct sunlight, this won't be a problem. Uh, actually, when I use this, I don't really go beyond the, mm-hmm. uh, the three fourths mark, yeah. but to save on the power. Uh-huh. But since this is powered by thirty one hundred or three thousand one hundred milliampere Sony cell, uh, personally, I've used this with my four G LTE on the whole day, mm-hmm. almost ten hours. To be precise, nine hours and fifty minutes. Wow! With wow. LTE on, no problem. And that's heavy usage. So this is like this is not the phone that uh, you'd have to charge the office mo while you're working in the middle of the day. Yes, this can course, last it, the whole it day. It depends on the type of user. If you're the type of person who plays games the whole day, yeah. obviously you'll need to uh, run through a charger. Okay, so can you uh, give me a rundown, sir? Of the single main differences now, because okay. we've already seen the uh, the Flyme 3.0. Well, main differences. Uh, if we slide down on the Flyme 3.0, as you can see, mm-hmm. the the notification uh, bar is really uh, limited Short, to uh, the, just, yeah. uh, the upper corners, and this time it runs all the way down. Yeah. And the, sh- the quick setting tiles is limited on the up- upper part of the area on the MX3. Uh, this one extends when I was playing Yeah, if you certain. play with it, you can extend everything, and you can even customize each and every one. The, uh, okay. Depending on your requirement, so you can do it there. Na mismo iba kasi sir, you have to do it in a separate page. Yes, yeah. so very uh, somewhat uh, similar to the Touchless UI, and it's still very flat looking. Yes, flat and then, sir, looking. you mentioned that mm-hmm. um, Flying is actually the first flat. Actually, UI. yes, uh, Flying is one of the. Uh, actually, it's the only OS before that presented the flat look. Mm-hmm. That's even way before that iOS presented the flat version of their icon. So, I guess somebody else is uh, trying to copy somebody. <laughs> so, just to prove my point here, that Meizu is uh, really serious about the the way they design their ROMs, mm-hmm. their, their firmware, and their softwares. That's why they also offered in their Flyme accounts... I'm not sure if it will be available for the Philippine version. A four terabyte free cloud storage. Oh my God! So yeah. four so terabyte, four terabyte free cloud storage. You just all you need to do is go to the settings, just okay. like here, and you register to their Flyme account. Mm-hmm. So as you can see here, I have uh, registered myself and. Uh, well, everybody knows that Alibaba is uh, one of the venture capitalists behind Meizu. That's why Alipay is integrated. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, I guess uh, Apple Pay now has a decent competitor. <laughs> but, uh, to be um, more open with this one, as you can see, there's uh, mm-hmm. the, the currency, the RMB. Uh, definitely, it's not uh, designed for the Philippine market yet. Mm-hmm. But pretty soon, I'll be ex- excited to present an, a whole new level of the Flying 4.0 in terms of the payment systems. And of course, it's still standard, the tab-like settings, if we go through the... This is more or less the same as that the same. the Flyme 3.0. So one thing that's missing that I kind of miss, if, if you slide to the right, you have the brightness toggle here. This time, uh, they removed it for some reason. Okay. So because of the notification tab, there must mas ano na eh, kumbaga mas powerful, richer yung interface. Yeah, probably. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, if we're going to compare the camera, so let's look here. Oops, sorry. 
So the camera interface is has really improved yeah, like quite a lot. Kanina I was playing with it. This is really because right it. now. So as you can see here. Okay, and let's look at the settings. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, what you see is what you get, a 20 megapixel capability. And because the... Ako, sir, mas na-attract ako doon sa 4K. Yeah, the 4K resolution at mm -hmm. HEVC or H.265 mm -hmm. uh, video recording or uh -huh. Ultra HD. And uh, this is one of the few phones who can do that kind of recording and playback at the same time. And all this is possible is because of the large camera at the back. And it uses a Sony Exmor RS IMX220. The same chip used in the Z Xperia Z series or the Z3. And of course, uh, everybody knows that this is a BSI camera yeah. with an aperture of f2.2. So BSI na talaga siya, sir. BSI. Also the front-facing camera. The front-facing camera is a, a lower version of the Sony Exmor. Uh -huh. And it's only 2 megapixel. So but then there's something it, special about it, eh? No? Yes. You have the beauty mode talaga. Yeah, the built-in beauty mode. And uh -huh. there's a special... Uh, gesture to it. As you can see, it made it simplified. There are different modes. Uh, a macro mode, uh, auto, uh, slow motion up to, I believe, uh, 120 frames per second. Uh, face detection, night mode, light field, panoramic at 300 degrees. Beauty mode, which uh, I'll show you later. Uh -huh. And let's go first to auto, because I want to demonstrate the burst mode. Okay. So all you need to do after you focus that, you just tap and hold. I hope you didn't blink because that was just 25 shots in about a second. So if you go to the gallery, it will show you the different pictures. Obviously, you won't notice the difference because you need to have a moving object in front of you to notice it. Mm -hmm. But basically, it does the job. And uh, on paper, it says it's 0.3 seconds for mm -hmm. the autofocus. And if you're doing 10 megapixel resolutions, it will take 25 photos in a second. So that was really amazing fast. Okay, so sa tingin mo, sir, sino yung mga siguro who would be so interested in the burst mode? Well, burst mode will be a perfect tool for those uh, point-and-shooters who would like to take advantage of uh, sport activities. If, for True. example, you're attending UAAPs uh, or you're attending a golf tournament or bowling, anything that has a fast movement involved that you want to capture that you want to capture burst mode burst shot is the perfect tool for that and of course for those selfie addicts mm -hmm. we would like to show you okay so this is the beauty mode okay there you go so let's increase the skin widening hi mark i see you <laughs> and let's smoothen the skin Let's max. Yeah, I need to get improved ano eh. <laughs> skin light. <laughs> I'm very moreno. Eh. Alright, so there we go. This I think the first selfie I've taken with Smart. With smart. One, two, three. Alright. Wow. Actually, it's really There you siya. go. As you can maganda see, yung on the fly, beauty mode. So that's really something. I don't inspire ako magpaputi dyan, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the beauty of the yeah. camera. And I'm yeah. sure you girls are gonna love this yeah, phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, it's very elegant to hold. Uh, and if you're thinking that a 5.36 inch phone is too big for a girl's hand or a woman's hand, think again. I would encourage you people to come to visit a Novo 7 Tech shop and try to experience for yourself the MX4, which pretty soon we'll have on live demos on shops uh, in Manila. And that's something that I appreciate, talaga. I've, I've mentioned this in our previous videos, that all of your stores are not just not just here, it's a lucky Chinatown mall. Mm -hmm. Of course, this, this is my favorite uh, <laughs> <laughs> Novo 7 Tech Store kasi kahit saan kayo pumunta ng Novo 7 Tech Store, you always have live demo units. Yes, yeah, so that people can really feel and experience the phone. Yeah, not just a, a dummy phone, right? Yeah, not just a dummy phone. They can even experience the ROM. So that's yeah. what we're proud of. And of course, no demo with Tech Pinas is complete without the traditional <laughs> test. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. I have here again with trust. He's a guest now, sir. Yes, he is a mainstay. He's a mainstay now. Yeah. The mask of the mask. So it's a good yeah. thing I was able to slip this in in the mall security. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. But here's something different. Before I start with the screen, which I normally do, let's yes, start sir. at the back. You might be wondering why at the back? 
I'm not going to scratch the back cover. <laughs> I'm not going to scratch uh, the plastic case and the, scrape the paint. I'm going to test the camera lens because it is also protected by Gorilla Glass 3. Oh, so yeah, let's yeah. find out if it will stand to the test. So we're not we're not joking here. That uh, Sir Adrian is really. You can see the speed of to how I it. grind the lens. So let's again polish <laughs> it a bit and let's check if the camera is still crystal clear. Guys, as you can see, no doubt about it. Yeah. Let's try to zoom in. Yeah. It's still crystal clear. And that's really glass tree on the back. And now let's go through the front, of course. Are you ready? Our unforgiving scratch test using the Damascus blade. <laughs> I think we do the 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 more the, the ano eh, most unforgiving scratch test of all, sir. Yes. Sa YouTube eh. <laughs> And let's turn off the screen to check. So you can you can see the man. Okay, there you go. So there you go, guys. Talagang ano? It's true to its word. Yeah. Horning Gorilla Glass Three with NDR or yes. native damage resistance. So this is a phone that you don't have to put a screen protector. No on screen protectors to protect needed. It, diba? I love my devices raw, and I don't know for some reason why people are so afraid to scratch the yeah. lenses of their Samsungs or their Apples when in fact they're really equipped with Gorilla Glass Three. Yeah. So they don't do it because they're afraid they might scratch it. So. It's like you doubt the quality of your device. And for me, I never <laughs> doubt my phones and I yeah, never yeah. doubt my Gizu. Not if you have this blade, you must yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Then you were able to test it first hand. I mean, yeah. if that blade is not able to scratch it, what will? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. But of course, there will be some material out there that can. Of like course. for example, sand. Sand, of yeah. course, if you have diamond. Yeah. Anything uh, that is harder than an object can obviously sever yeah. or scratch it. Basically, this is a phone that you can put alongside your keys and inside There's your no pocket. Problem. Yeah, no Worst problem. Worst case scenario, what will get scratched? Maybe, I'm not sure because I've only had this phone for a few days. So maybe the paint job or, yeah, or yeah. even the back cover that's not protected by Gorilla yeah. Glass 3. Oh, I forgot one detail. As you can notice, there are two tone LED flashes. This is a first again for Beizu. Yeah. I've seen that sir sa iPhone, no? iPhone 5S. Yes. And also sa Nokia the N930. So, so this is a nice addition. A nice addition. Nice addition. And what ang ginagawa nito, sir, no, is that it gives you a better skin tone. Siguro for when taking photos of a person, no better you. Yeah, because normally uh, when, you, skin when you use the flash in, in uh, dark areas, uh -huh. well, obviously you need a flash for that. And uh, you come up close to a person's face. The, what happens is the skin tone is overly white yeah. and it, it shows a very pale color. Uh -huh. So what this do, it offers a real nice balance of mm -hmm. the color uh -huh. tone and will give you more vibrant, warm, and more accurate colors of your skin. Yeah. And also, siguro when shooting uh, white subjects, you know, yes. parang hindi rin siya siguro naging greenish exactly. or, or the violet purplish side. Yeah. Uh -huh. Of course, it, it won't be able to achieve perfect shots without a perfect screen. Like I mentioned, yeah. uh, the 85% uh, NTSC color gamut, which is really accurate. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, the bezels again, very very thin, the, the thinnest by far I've seen on the phone, 2.6 mm. If you're you know what? I'm not sure if the video is able to capture how beautiful the screen is. So for those who are interested, I invite you to really uh, check out the store, you must, sir, because in the store, lahat and dito eh, no, sir, yes, no? Here. So here you can the, also see um, soon November, you must, sir, that November will be mm -hmm. probably on the second week of October. We'll be rolling out some live demo units of the MX4, so that you personally. Yeah. I invite you to experience the same thing I'm experiencing right now. Novo 7 Tech is so confident about it because you know the product speaks yes. for itself. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what do you want to show the special feature of the okay, well, MX4? Uh, for the other sp uh, special features, uh, of course the LTE I've mentioned earlier. Uh, the LTE is special dito, diba, sir, because of the many bands that it supports? Yes, it's actually the modem that's uh, the SOC built in with this one supports five bands. 
uh, I'm sorry, five networks uh, and 13 bands, namely GSM, TDSDMA, WCDMA, TDLTE, FDDLTE, mm-hmm. and I would like to share to you one of the some of the results I've managed to get uh, across my travel here to Lucky Chinatown Mall. Over 4G or LTE, I managed to squeeze out well, the best I could was 2.7 Mbps download. But my uploads are amazing and fantastic, all the way to 10.78 Mbps. And this is uh, considering that my 4G signal is only at three bars. So imagine if I was in an area of really strong 4G signal and capability, I would definitely go all the way to 25 Mbps. So the the, the LTE band supported, sir, will be for... In the Philippines, it works. Same with China, same with Europe, same with the States. Okay, so it's going... Yeah, so anywhere you go with this phone, yeah, yeah. No problem. In the Philippines, of course, you have uh, have Smart Globe and Sun. All of them have their LTE. And uh, I was using my Smart SIM, by the way, and you can see the LTE coverage. I hope they can do better. Yeah. Soon and I, I know they will because I read yeah. in the paper they're going for 1400 LT sites yeah, in the future. Yeah, yeah. So growing that. smart. Can... Love smart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, you, we've already seen the design, the camera, the screen, the the glass, the, the glass Gorilla Glass Three <laughs> scratch resistant uh, screen, uh, the Antutu benchmark scores. Ano pa ba, sir? Why not unbox? Okay. <laughs> yung box natin, That's sir. Unbox, yeah. a quick unboxing. Yeah, so, your quick unbox, quick tech, quick tech finance unboxing. So this is the MX4. So we have here the standard European charger. By the way, sir, I'm looking at the boxes. It looks very high end. This, this is going to be the more or less like the, the retail package. The retail huh? international package. Everything's in English. Uh-huh. So you have here the usual small book and uh, with lots of information. There's a small story behind it. Uh-huh. Okay, and of course the uh, instruction manual. Yeah. And about flying. So when you get it, you will, it will have a yeah. plastic so, case. So uh, normally it will look like this yeah. when it comes out of the box. Cradle, sure. And of course the standard USB data cable. Yes. And right here, actually this is a demo package, so they didn't include the yeah. earphones. But it will have earphones. Yeah, it will have earphones. Have the earphones actually, I have no idea yet, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be high end also. Okay, that's cool. Meitsu is known to, you know... Di bali, sir, pagdating naman, we're, we're going to do our own tech pinas unboxing. Yes, all the details with that. Okay. So, furthermore, Looking I guess... Looking at the box again, sir, no? Ang, ang, yeah. ang high-end niya, tignan eh. Yeah. But uh, you would imagine this one costs 25000 but mukhang mas malaki well, ang bawas doon, no, 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 sir. No? For a phone like this, because well, as you can see, a MediaTek phone such as the T5000, uh-huh. 31000 two 8 Snapdragon 800s at thirty to 41000 a Snapdragon 801 at 44,000, and this is a 22 to 23,000 peso phone. And not to mention the Note 3 is almost 30,000 pesos. So if you're asking me, Mark, I'll ask you, how much are you willing to pay for a phone that features a Snapdragon, uh, I mean, that features a performance that far exceeds a Snapdragon 801, maybe even a Snapdragon 805? Yes. Personally, I want to answer your question. Yes, I would uh, be okay with spending twenty thousand on a phone 000? like this because I'm personally interested on the chipset. Eh? Yeah. Six five nine five is new First, anywhere in the world. In the world, so ako kasi may ligaw sa ganon yung mga items na may may It's bragging rights. Yeah, yeah, parang first of its kind. Yeah. So if only because of that plus the sensor na same ata yung sa high end Sony models uh-huh. ano. I would spend 20000 20, for it. Yeah. So, uh, what I'll tell you, Mark, you're too rich and I'll, I'll get your money later. <laughs> oh, no. Come on, sir. <laughs> so, guys, are you ready? Special treat for Tech Pinas viewers. The Meizu MX4 is available in the Philippines, will be available in the Philippines for only 1499 p Oh my, that's 14,890 pesos. Less than 15,000 pesos, you get this fantastic phone. You get a phone that's that's ganyan kaganda. 51,000 guys. With such power exceeding, you know, the chipset of flagship models that are almost double its price or more than double its price. Yeah, like I said, this is almost 30,000. This is 23,000. And I'm giving you MX4 at 14,990. For the 16 gigabyte version, 16 gigabyte version. Yes. So okay, the user considering everything that you're getting, di ba? Mm-hmm. And then of course you have the 32 gigabyte version, which is coming soon. It's coming soon, and uh, I was told that the 32 and the 64 will be supporting NFC. 
Uh-huh. So let's look at the back so that you look Mga magkano kaya yun, sir, pagdating niya? Probably it will be 2,000 pesos uh, more expensive. So around 16,990 uh, Something siguro, like no? that. And uh, let's look at the back. Of course, this is the yeah. non-NFC uh, connectivity. With a nice texture at the back. Very mm-hmm. meta- metal. It's plastic, but it has a metallic finish. Yeah, it feels uh, like finish. it's uh, one, one, yeah. one finish. And you can see the big sensor here. The non-removable battery, 3,100 milliampere by Sony. And very neatly done, there's a single SIM card slot, micro micro SIM card. Unfortunately, there's no micro SD. How I wish Meizu will be able to come up with an expandable storage soon. Up but to come on, but you have the 4 terabyte. Yeah, of... for, well, that's what they've uh, been bragging about. But <laughs> I, I personally would prefer yeah, yeah. expandable so- storage. Okay, but what they did, uh, they did made available the... USB OTG. Yeah. I, I've tried my 32 gigabyte, no problem. You can okay. copy paste everything. So, the, um, to those who are mm-hmm. wondering, why is non removable, sir, your battery? Uh, it's because of design consideration. Yes, design consideration because, guys, look at this. It's very neatly done, it's very thin. So, if we're going to compare this head to head, okay, for a, uh, this is the Note 3 and this is the Made Zoom, it's incomparable. Ang nipis talaga, yeah. I mean, for a phone with such a large display, mm-hmm. manipis talaga siya. Yes, because if, again, going like this, it's hard to beat. <laughs> and, oh, I left out because... I just realized it's... we're the only uh, tandem natin that does this, sir. <laughs> Lahat ng yeah. mga brands and dyan, eh. Hey, look at this. Because of this, this uh, four machinized uh, speaker grills, the CNC type, mm-hmm. uh, the same uh, type of process used for developing a- Apple phones. Yeah. This also supports an NXT audio chip, a smart PA system that increases volume to up to 100%. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have uh, a nice uh, 128 kilobyte MP3 music here. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, I could have... Uh, have you guys a real decent uh, audio playback experience? So just uh, think, for example, this is the the MI3. Mm-hmm. If you compare the bezel, it's uh, miles apart. You see, 2.6 mm. And for the top, there's a quite obvious difference between that and even at the bottom. So again, guys, it's 5.36 inches, almost five and a half inch. And this is a 5 inch screen, and they're approximately the same size. If not, it's even smaller than the MI3. But I know it won't uh, do justice because I'm comparing the MX4 to the MI, uh, MI3. But I'm really excited. Actually, when I was at the Are you excited to see the Xiaomi Mi 4, actually, sir? I've already seen the MI4 in the, uh, uh, in the Meizu headquarters. Are we going to compare it. them soon? Pagdating? Soon, definitely. When I get are you confident hands, about the comparison? I'm hands down and confident we can outlast and outmatch the competition. This one... <laughs> Come on! So, so this one kaya kaya, but the, the MI4, the Mi4, the Mi4 will also do that, di ba, sir? Uh, well, the Mi4, for me, it looks like an Apple clone. They don't have any originality. And this one has a better craftsmanship and more attention to detail. Uh-huh. And hands down, this is my phone for the years to come. Unless they, they come up with the MX5. Okay, that's that should be exciting. Yes. I mean, if the MX4 is as wonderful as this one, I'm sure the MX5 will be... And I hope they'll have the SD card expanded it be soon. <laughs> <laughs> Offhand, everything that you've seen, that, that uh, you've shown me, everything that I've seen here, sobrang amazing, and you get all that for only 14,890 14, pesos. 14,890 pesos. Yes. Very affordable, yet very beautiful, mm-hmm. very powerful. A beast of a smartphone. Yun nga, ang describe ko sa kanya before, Pastor, no? Availability, sir. And for the availability, we'll be have a simultaneous teaser uh, by Novo 7 Tech Stores online and Kim Store. Kim Store. <laughs> of course, we'll do some uh, a, two, a two week campaign wherein we'll, we'll be able to show our patrons and viewers what the Meizu MX4 is made of and all about. A rich story of how it was created, the history was there. The every detail and aspect of it is beautifully done, mm-hmm. and of course, pretty soon for those who are uh, watching it closely, we'll have a special uh, uh, pre-order 
treat for all of you. Wow. Actually, sir, for for many of my readers, no, na and daming aring natutuwa ako because our uh, for for Tech Pinas, the Meizu MX4 post is one of the most read posts ko this year. Uh-huh. And um, I know many of my readers talaga are excited about this phone. But for many people online. Novo 7 Tech has been known, has been particularly known for your partnership with Kim Store. So this is more like your uh, reunion, ano? Parang more yeah. like a... I saw an um, alliance with Kim Store. Yeah, more like your, siguro, the relaunch of your partnership with Kim Store. Of course. Yeah. So I'm very excited. I also and work with Kim. And you first only here at Tech Pinas. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you okay. sa pagkitiwala sa Tech Pinas. No and um, again, TV friends... <laughs> The Meizu MX4 is arriving finally in the Philippines as promised by Novo 7 Tech. Novo 7 Tech naman has always kept their promises from the, from the get-go. So, is, they promise it's going to arrive in the Philippines within the year. And, with and then they promise that they, it's going to be affordable. We did. And you and did we that? promise it will be standing to the test of my blade. <laughs> <laughs> and all of those promises, um, Novo 7 Tech has kept... And for that, we're grateful to Novo 7 Tech. A wonderful phone. It, and I'm personally happy because this one will only make uh, siguro the competition tighter for everyone to the benefit of all consumers. So, very happy. Again, team friends, that's Meizu MX4. Wonderful phone. I personally love it. Um, from the press releases pa lang, now that I've seen it in person, it's wonderful. So, check it out. Coming this November via Novo 7 Tech and Kim Store. Kim Store. That's Sir Adrian Lim. He's the IT Director of Novo 7 Tech. Again, I'm going to repeat it. Novo 7 Tech is the official and exclusive distributor of THL. Love THL. Uh, Zopo. Also love Zopo. And now Meizu. Also love Meizu. Smartphones. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Thank you so much, sir. Thumbs up. Thumbs up.